kids, you all have come. Hi. All right, I didn't see you all out there because I was busy playing with my ball, which is round. Goal, goal, goal. And aaj ka theme hai goal, goal. Today's lesson is all about circles because har ek round mein hota hai ek circle. All right. So, today I'm going to teach you circle and its daughters. Yeah. Circle has three daughters. Today we're going to learn their names, all right, as well as their properties. Properties means how are they? What work they, do they do in the family of circle? All right. So circle and its daughters. Here we go. Now, before we get to know who their daughters are, we're going to learn one thing. Okay. There is always a center. There is a center in a circle. All right. And his daughters are all around the center. Okay. The main thing is the center. And his daughters are all around, lying around the center. Okay. In and around the center, but inside the circle. Is it clear? So, now, you know what is this point? The point is a center. Remember, not center, but center. Okay. Remember the spelling of it. And one more thing you need to keep keep in mind is all the daughters are lines. So we are all going to learn about lines. Okay. They all are lines. And remember the main thing. This circle. All right. Is all called the circumference. What is it called? Circumference. So remember I'm going to use the word center and circumference often. Okay. So keep in mind. All right. These two words. Now, let's go to the first daughter, radius. What is a radius? Any line that is drawn from the center of the circle to any point at the circumference. Okay, you draw any line from the center to the circumference. Touch it anywhere around the circle, all right? That is your radius, okay? Again, let me repeat it out to you. Any line drawn from the center to any point at the circumference is called a radius. So, for example, I have a radius over here. I can have another radius over here. See, so radius 1 here and I have a radius here. Same way, I can have a radius anywhere I want. I can have a radius here too. I can have a radius here too. Is it clear? But, remember, a radius will always touch the center. From the center to any point around the circumference. Let's go to the second daughter. Second daughter is a diameter. Okay. Now, diameter doesn't start from the center. It starts from any point on the circumference. All right. And then it touches the center. It touches the center. Okay. And then it goes down to any other point in the circle all right so that a diameter is any line that starts from the circumference touches the center and then comes straight down to the next side of the circumference so remember it has two points at the circumference okay it starts from one side touches the center and goes to the other side but all in a proper straight line i have another diameter over here to show you if i touch the center okay can i go down like this no i cannot a straight line means what from here it goes straight right croc when you please lift your head up a little bit yeah thank you yeah thank you there all right so a diameter starts from the circumference touches the center and then goes directly to the next side of on the circumference. Remember, it always touches the center. Okay, if it doesn't touch the center, then it is not a diameter. What is it? The third chord. Okay, diameter always touches the center, right? But a chord doesn't touch the center. Same like diameter, it starts from one side and it has to touch the other side. But it know what to do. It will not touch the center. 
that's the only difference okay see for example it's going from here to here okay the chord goes from here to here but it doesn't touch the center and that's why that is a it's called a chord okay again from here i have another chord over here all right it will not touch the center instead of touching the center it will go over here and so i have a chord over here and so i hope you understood the three daughters of the circle the first daughter is your radius the line which touches the center and then touches any point in the circumference it can be from here to here here to here then we learn the second daughter that is a diameter which is a line that touches a circumference then touches the center particularly and then goes down to any other point in the circumference then we saw finally the third daughter that is chord what is a chord touches the circumference but it doesn't touch the center all right it starts from the circumference and it touches any other point in the circumference it doesn't touch the center remember that's the only difference between diameter and the chord now carefully look over here don't you see there is a radius in the diameter also you want to see yeah what's a the radius touches the center and any point in the circumference right so see from here this is a small radius isn't it what's the diameter from here to here correct so in, inside one whole diameter there are two radiuses isn't that amazing see from here to here one radius and from here to here one radius we saw the second diameter over here from here to here didn't we didn't we draw this one what is this can you see one from here to here is a radius because it's Uh, the any line that touches the center and the any point in the circumference so from here to here there's one radius and from here to one there's another radius so remember okay there are two radiuses in a diameter all right okay now no but is that so for the chord no why you tell me i don't i don't who said that oh oh hello oh yeah they are look over here aha come on come on come on oh all the daughters have come oh little don you know the answer oh aha uh -huh. is it she is saying the chord is different because it doesn't touch the center like the diameter does you know who knows that they know much better than you because this girl's name is chord this girl's name is radius and this girl's name is diameter and this is the father this is their father oh come on my little froggy come snail meet your friends out here at the pond oh hello wow so i hope you don't forget the three daughters of the circle okay what are they they are the radius diameter and chord we learned about all the three of them today i hope you've understood all right and now time for the activity all right i'll be drawing any line across the circle and you have to identify whether it is a diameter a radius or a chord show you how you can make a circle circle out of a compass all right so you need to learn how to use a compass to make a circle and then i'll be showing you how to draw a radius a diameter and a chord all right okay so here it goes <laughs>
hope you enjoyed the lesson. All right, bye bye. And say bye to the tiny daughters. Who are they? Card, radius, and diameter. Uh -huh. Give way, give way for the eldest one to come in. All right, and so here we are. A last question for you to think about Which is the largest line on the circle? Is it the radius? Is it the diameter? Or is it the chord?